Hi folks, welcome to Set Apart Homestead. This is Travis here at the Prepared Homestead. So today we're back talking about food storage and food preps because um, in case you folks haven't noticed, there's some crazy stuff going on all over the world uh, in big part due to this virus that's spreading. But there are also other things uh, that's affecting the weather that uh, work did last year that caused the harvest to be a little bit less. And it looks like uh, the next few years, it could be pretty bad, or at least they're predicting some low harvest due to the grand solar minimum. So I think it's very appropriate to be talking about that. But today I want to talk specifically about a place that you can go stock up on food, get good quality long-term food for a really reasonable price. Now I don't get anything by promoting this place, but it's something that I wanted to share with you. And it is through the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I'm not a member of it. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. But they are very well known for preppy. Um, they, it, it is something that they teach within their church that their members should be prepared. And so because of that, they actually run their own store where they produce food like this, long-term food storage. And they sell it in stores all over the United States that are open to the public, not just members of the store, of, of the church. And if you happen to live near one, uh, I would encourage you to check them out and possibly purchase some items for, for food storage. They, I will leave a link in the description below, and it's a link to them that has a list of all their stores. Now, they don't have a whole lot of them. Most states have two to four stores that, that look like to me uh, spread across the state. But, you know, if, if it were me, if you lived a couple of hours, you know, near one, I would drive a couple of hours to go to one of their stores. Because see here, what you have is a, com is a you know, organization that's been making this stuff for many, many years. And they have an excellent reputation, which is something a lot of these long-term food companies do not have. So many of them have popped up just in the last few years, and you might get a good product, but you might not because they don't have that long-term reputation. They just haven't been around long enough to know if their foods really do last 30, 40 years. Whereas these guys, you know it, and you can find all types of reviews all over um, talking about the good quality. On top of that, their prices are probably the best you will find anywhere for comparable products. Now, they don't have a lot of variety in their stores, typically. And you can order online, but the prices are more, and then you have to go through the shipping process of shipping bulk items. So if you live where you can drive to one, I would suggest doing that instead. But even, if the, even the, for the fact that they don't have a lot of variety, what you can get are some really good deals. Most of their products come in these number 10 cans, and the stuff is dehydrated, so there's no water in it. You don't have the extra added weight of the water, which makes even a, a big can like this fairly, um, fairly light. There's usually a oxygen absorber inside at the top and uh, you, you know, have where you can purchase individual cans or you can buy the stuff by the case. Uh, this here is some onions, there's carrots, uh, apple slices and potato flakes. And I have used, I've been to them before and I've used them several times and I've always had excellent results. The people are usually really, really nice. And it's nice also that they know about prepping because that's what they do. So, uh, you know, you can usually have some pretty decent conversations. Most of their stores are just big warehouses, just plain warehouses that you go in and all this stuff is sitting on pallets. You fill up a big, huge cart and you go pay for it. It's as simple as that. Um, down here, there's some dry milk that I, I get from them and this stuff is sealed in Mylar uh, and it, it lasts a very long time also. So, uh, like I said, the prices aren't too bad. Uh, depending on what you get, because it, it varies a lot, but a case, and the case has six of these number 10 cans, will run anywhere between $25 and $50 for a case. Um, and like I said, depending, I think like the apples is one of the most expensive things and the potato flakes is probably one of the cheapest. I think they were like $27 for a case. Where some of the, the last time, um, I think they were around $55 for a case of apples to give you some, some ideas on prices. Now, the other thing that a lot of times they have 
and where I get my wheat berries are at the LDS store. Uh, they sell them in these 25 pound bags and about the best prices that I've seen anywhere. Um, and it's just a, a great option to stock up on and they always have a lot. Now, here's the thing. I talked to someone that I know that works at one of them and they said in the last few weeks, they have been going through food like crazy selling stuff, not just to their own members, but to other people that know about these stores are going and buying up as much as they can literally by the truckload. So if you're able to go to one of these, you have the money and this is the kind of stuff you're looking for. Uh, I would suggest doing that because I don't think things are going to get better for a while. Uh, I think we're, we're looking at uh, some rough times ahead, not just because people will get sick, uh, whether or not this virus is going to be as big as it is. I think it's probably bigger than what our own government is saying it is. But the biggest danger that I see, at least in the initial, is the people panicking. Look at what's going on in Italy. Uh, look at what's going on through most of Europe right now. People are going into a panic and they're rushing to the stores. They're buying up everything they can. And then there's no food left. And people are running out of food because of that. That could very well happen here. It happens here all the time on a much smaller scale when you have these hurricanes or high storms things like that, people rush to the store, and the next thing you know, there's no food left. Uh, so having a good supply of food uh, doesn't take, uh, is a smart thing to do, and it doesn't take that much when you're buying it this way. You know, you can go to one of these stores and buy a six month supply of food for four people for really not that much money. It may not be all the foods that you want, but it's six months of food that's gonna keep you alive, uh, and uh, it'll last for a very long time. So. If you end up not needing it because it ends up not being that bad, guess what? The stuff's going to last 30 to 40 years, uh, most of it. Uh, usually 20 to 30 years is what they rate it as. So you're not really going to lose money because it will last so long. Uh, but again, I will leave a link in the description to their website, the LDS website, where you can go and figure out uh, where the nearest store is to you. Usually they're open limited hours, so make sure you check on that so you don't make a drive and then find out they're, they're not open. You know, A lot of times it's only three days a week or things like that. Um, I think, I'm not sure, but I think most of them are run by volunteers uh, within the, the Mormon church. So uh, I just wanted to pass this along because I, I feel it's one of the, the better options out there for long-term food. Now, one thing I want to mention they do sell other things. They have a lot more options than what I have here. This is just an example. But they'll sell like beans and rice in 10, the number 10 cans like this. I don't buy it because I buy my beans and rice in bulk like this, and then I put it in a Mylar bag, seal it up myself, and put it in buckets. It's cheaper that way. But maybe you're single. Maybe uh, you just don't want to hassle with sealing it up on your own. So buying it this way might be better for you. It's a little bit more because you're paying for the fact that it's sealed up in a can, but it's not a, a, a ridiculous amount of money to buy the beans and rice like this. And it may be better for you. You may not need um, a five gallon bag of uh, beans or rice, or it may take you forever to go through a five gallon bag of beans or rice, you know, 50 pound bag or something like that. Whereas a smaller amount like this, you could go through uh, in a reasonable amount of time. So there are some other items uh, that come in this these ten can number 10 cans, <laughs> get that out here in a second, uh, that might work for you. That for me, having a large family, it's better, I'm better off buying it this way. Anyways, I just wanted to pass this along to you because I think, it's a, I think it's a really good option for a lot of us. And I know a lot of preppers just don't know about it. Some of you do, but there's a, a lot out there that doesn't know that these stores exist um, and that they're open to the public. So check the link out in the description and find out where one is near you. And, you know, I, I, would, I would recommend it myself is, is what I'm going to say. All right. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.